Hello everyone, it's me the Chuck Smiley, it's been you and other Chucks in the commentary. As you can see here we are back with a Let's Play series. Um, now first of all I'm just going to start with um, the skills side of the game. Now I'm going to do um, high val- no, I think it was Fragile Cargo as uh, these- Fragile Cargo and High Value I think were the most um, sort of asked for. Um, so if I use do that one. So now let's work this out. We're going to try milk to Gwanignan. And now I don't know whether we are in mid journey. I haven't looked at this before starting the video. I have just plunged right into the deep end and started videoing. Um, so I do hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I do hope that you guys had a fantastic um, Christmas holiday thingy. Um, and oh, okay, so we're just dying. And I do hope that. Um, that new year is just as good. Um, nearly the end of th nearly the end of 2012. Um, which is looking. Wait, am I under? I don't know what. Can, what I'm in Osnabrück, so I want to be on this side of the way, don't I? Yes. Um, and then right again. I was correct. When I came on this um, to begin with earlier, I went on the wrong side of the road because I went from the UK to Europe, and I went on the left, and I was like, hang on, am I on the wrong side of the road? And I was like, yeah. Ooh. But, you know, it was okay. I didn't get fined. I didn't crash. Um, so now we just need these guys to all slow down. Um, there is a new update with ETS, ETS Software on their blog. But, I mean, to be honest, I've already covered that update um, in a previous video. Um, the last video, I talked about ETS2 winning uh, uh, Simulator Game of the Year um, for PC Gamer Magazine. Um, now, the ETS Software have only just um, posted that on their blog. But I saw that originally... Um, I think it was probably a few weeks ago now, on um, Excalibur Publishing's Facebook page. Um, they post quite a lot of updates to do with um, ETS2 and just other, other games that they publish. Um, and that was one of them now. Turn, oh god, oh god, that felt rather laggy um, and just really bad at the same time. I don't want to turn too sharply in this truck in case it goes off, in case it decides, oh, I don't want to drive forward, let's just like turn around and drive and just... I'm just going to drive into that fence for the sake of it. Um, but yeah, so this journey, how long is it going to take me? It's going to take me 3 hours and 18 minutes. Uh, we've got 8 hours, okay, so ETA 3 hours. Um, time remaining, 8 hours. Okay, so we should get there without a sweat. Um, and yeah, we don't need to, do we need most of fuel light? Okay, so we need to fuel up. Uh, there's a fuel station that we pass, excellent. Um, and sleep. We've got 10 hours until we can sleep, so that's fine. So yeah, this is basically, um, for those of you guys that are new to my channel, um, first time watching my videos, I don't know how many sort of new people we have joined quite a lot, but we did, I had um, another guy comment on one of my previous videos, I'm an STDS one, and he told me that he subbed because he liked the video, and he was like, yay, welcome to the channel, dude. Um, it's really cool to s when I see comments like that, where it's like, I saw your video, I liked it, I subbed. It's like, awesome, sweet. Um, and um, so yeah, this is my uh, ECS2 Let's Play series. Um, I started a UKTS one before ETS2 was out, but that's not really gone very far. This one is now a lot further than my UKTS one, um, which I don't really... I think this one's just because I play ETS2 a lot more, um, and it's just a much better game. I absolutely love ETS2. I haven't played UKTS in a very long time. Um, but yeah, so this is basically, for those of you that are wondering what a Let's Play series is, um, it's basically where I started to save this profile strictly for my um, YouTube, strictly strictly to video on. So basically, pretty much all of my videos at the moment... Wait, have I got to come off here? Yes, oh, thank God for that. When I was looking at that map, I was like, hang on, that doesn't look right. But I was thinking that I was on the other side of the road, and I was like, wait. But yeah, um, so I started this journey off, profile off at this and videoed it every, ever since. I don't go on this without videoing it. Um, so you guys have seen pretty, pretty much all of my um, all of my journeys on this profile, which is brilliant. And I've also got the bonus episode, um, bonus episodes, which will be coming out. Um, they'll be coming out, well, I don't know when, to be honest. It's when you guys want one. Um, I've got to change lanes because I'm in the wrong lane. Um, but yeah, so... Um, on the thought of bonus episodes, um, to get a bonus episode tomorrow, um, you need to get 35 likes on this video. Now, I hope that you guys can do it. I believe, I'm really sure that you guys can do it. Um, you've done it loads of times before. The last few weeks, you haven't got them. And you should like, like, like. If you like the video, of course. Obviously, if you don't like it, then it's sort of, it's a bit more... To be honest, it's the like, the whole bonus episode, like, if you want a bonus episode kind of thing, isn't, uh, oh, yeah, no, just like this because you want to see more videos. It's, it's like, if, you, if you're a bit lazy with the likes, 
and you want an extra video then obviously you can click that like button and you can be less lazy for once for for the, for the week for this video um, but obviously if you don't like the video then don't don't really click like just to get an extra video I mean you might I guess if you want the next video sure but <laughs> I don't know but yeah um, anyway select fuel up now there isn't much to talk about along um, when it comes to these sort of games and stuff um, now I didn't realise I had a DSV curtain inside uh, this is a really tidy trailer for those of you um, that don't know this is the Daniels um, ETS2 oh my god how much fuel is this costing me how much fuel is this truck taking this ha uh, um, that has got to be a glitch 1678 euros my MAN doesn't even take that on the bonus episode profile one, oh my god, that was an expensive f fuel run. Uh, okay, so now let's... I don't want to pull out in case... Yeah, I don't think it was going to stop for me. I'll pull out now though, because whoever it is can <laughs> wait now. But that was... A, I, I reckon that was some sort of glitch or something, because 1,678 euros of fuel should not have happened. Because on my profile, I, I'm, I, I literally... If I've got zero litres left on my fuel tank, that will only just get me just over a thousand euros but this got me okay that's quite a lot of fuel and I'm quite glad I haven't paid back my uh, my bank loan because I mean I was thinking of paying it back before I bought when I, when I realized I couldn't upgrade this as much as I wanted to but you know I just I haven't got around to it and I'm glad I haven't because obviously if I had this truck and then I just paid back the loan and I had like a penny left and I had to spend that much on fuel that was a little expensive. Too expensive, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, I didn't realise. I didn't realise it could be that expensive. But yeah, um, that's going to be cool. Um, hopefully, there's a new update with um, ATS2 and SS software late in in the near future. Now, I will talk about their previous blog post again. Not the one to do with the ATS2 becoming um, getting the simulator game of the year, but the one which was about websites and domains that they SS software have bought um, one the, now there was a third one which I didn't know I, I, didn't, I couldn't remember um, and I mean I, I've looked over that blog post a little bit more now and I can now are you letting me go or are you going you weren't gonna let me go but you are now thank you you're so kind um, <laughs> but I think I just kind of cut everyone up as I was coming through there which wasn't necessarily the best thing to do but well, it got me through, but um, yeah. So the final, the third website is World of Trucks um, dot com or something. Now that is another one which has left me open-minded about what it could be, because it could be that they're creating literally another truck simulator, which is about the world of trucks, which is about like a truck world truck driving game or something like that, which would sort of make sense. Um, when it comes to SS Software being a game manufacturer, um, game producer, or whatever you want to call them, um, obviously having World of Trucks have been bringing out an actual trucking game rather than because they're not really a website creating company. They don't. They don't. I don't. I can't really see them just creating a, a random website for the sake of it kind of thing. Although they are based around trucks. Now I'm just going to shut up a sec to stop talking about that because right now this is a really cool part of the game um, a really nice road up in one of these countries I think it's like the Netherlands or something probably um, and it's got like cycle lanes on it which I know that all of you can see and have seen it since I started on the road but this is a really nice looking road it's got awesome scenery um, and there's a few, fair few number of roads up in the north up in this area where they've got cycle lanes and I think it's really cool that SS Software have put those sort of l roads in. It, 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 it makes the whole, this part of the country, this part of the world, feel completely different and, and away from the rest of the game. Like it, it's just, it's really cool to see. Um, now, unfortunately, we can't go on that little road there. But what if we could, and it took us like a farm, like Bernard Matthews, a little road like that. But, you know, it doesn't, but let's just bask in the game of being really, really cool at the moment. Um, but yeah, with that world of trucks, it, it could, I, I mean, I reckon it's probably, I mean, at first I thought it might just be a website to do with just the world of trucks, like just have pictures of real Scandias, real Volvos, and anything to do with real life stuff. But I mean, 
it's not really something that you'd expect SES software to to um, you wouldn't really expect SES software to create a website that's just generally for that stuff and I don't know but it, it's kind of whatever it's like I don't know it's kind of <laughs> just repeat myself there it's kind of like I don't know whatever it's kind of I don't know but yeah it's like it could be anything it's a blind canvas at the moment SES software have said that they are the plan from the table um, so hopefully we get to hear more in depth about it. I mean, obviously with STDS, we don't get to hear about that legitimately from SN Software until it was pr practically released. Um, but hopefully that's not the case with this one. But if it is, then it is. It will just be nice to get this sort of surprise. But um, anyways, I think I will end the video here. Um, it's been and I've got I've I've been rather busy lately, and I've got things that I need to be get on with. I thought that I would just take some time out of my. Uh, daily routine to bring you a lot of videos so I uh, I do hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did then please give it a rating that'd be really cool of you um, so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye